Baringa kaunti ya Nyeri ilitoa fursa maridhawa kwa waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoa kueleza hatua zilizopigwa na serikali katika kukuza masomo. Akiwaonya walimu wakuu wa shule ambao wanapania kuwafukuza wanafunzi shule kwa sababu za karo. I have been told that children are being sent away because of development money. Please, if you have any detail of any teacher who is bold enough to return our children home because of development money, give us that information and we shall act very swiftly. Shule huku akisifia hatua zilizopigwa na shule kadhaa katika kukabiliana na janga la corona. Kutokana na itaji liliopo la madarasa, magoa aliwataka walimu wakuu kubuni mbinu kama matumizi ya vivuli vya miti. Akisema serikali itawakabidhi wanafunzi kutoka mitai ya mabanda barakoa. So reporting, uh, that the reporting was at 50% is not correct. We are closer to 90% plus. I want to say that uh, even though I had said earlier, that is only the primary school uh, 4 billion that will be released by yesterday. Because of His Excellency the President's intervention, even the secondary schools 14.6 billion were also released yesterday. So the money was released simultaneously, depending on which bank. Don't waste your time on this one. Depending on which bank, perhaps if uh, you bank with KCB, which is uh, the main bank, it will re reflect today. If you bank with any other bank, give it one or two days and the money should be available. My only warning is this, huh? please use this money for what it is meant for. This time, we want to thank God that we are alive. I have no plans to make any extra money this year. Nobody should have plans for doing so. You should just have plans to keep on praying to make sure that you, you remain alive and you also help others to be alive. So this money belongs to the children and God will punish you severely if you even smell the smell of the money. I believe that it's not so much the amount of money that government gives, but more so how we use the money and apply it to where it is required. I chose to come here today because I'm, I'm going to visit uh, some schools in slums across the nation. This is actually the third one. And I'm very impressed that the acreage here is good enough. There are enough trees, although I will still tell them to plant a few more trees. When you look, when you walk around the school, you find that there are enough uh, empty spaces. Some are, it's like they were preparing for Corona because the trees are there all the time. So all, the only thing you have to worry about is rain. Like today's weather is very good. The decision will have to be the head teachers when to be innovative as to take some classes outside. It will help us to, to give the children more oxygen and also to deal with their social distancing. I think water is not a problem here. I've washed my hands. I'm also glad to see that you are using bar soap, which is cheaper and more effective. My temperature was taken. I've been to the classrooms. All children are masked, as I had said, as government policy, politics aside. We are going to mask all the children in the slums. And then we shall mask children in very large schools, and there are not very many. There are about 20 of them. Anthony Modiani. Undugu TV.